Hello and welcome back to Shapeless Skyrim. My name is Tori. My name is Tyler. Today we are going to be checking out four mods for you. And the first one is going to be in the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood, where all great mods are located. Yep, so let's hop right in. Where are we going? So we're going to go right in here. You're going to take a sharp turn by this nice table. Oh, and it's you'll like have hidden this... under the table. Yep. And Why so do they always make it steal from? Uh, it's because uh, RLL Cool J yep. hates us. But loves us. Let's check uh, what's inside of here. And Tyler, tell me what this mod is called. This mod is called Helmets with Hooded Side Capes. Now, well, you can probably already assume what this mod does. It puts the monk robe hood on top of specific helmets. And they have added a ton, a ton, yeah. a ton. All kinds of, of colors helmets. and also light armor and uh, heavy armor versions of both of them. So uh, I think we just should, we ought to go just try some of these on. Dawn Guard Helmet with Black Ape. Okay, so some Ooh. clipping here. You know what? Let me put on. Let me no, just that put clipping on actually lighter. looks good. You're a fan of that. I'm a fan of that clip because it almost looks like it's like a pendant or like, you know, it clips in to the front of the armor plate. Yeah. Like it looks like it's underneath it. Yeah, I like that. The, hey, there's ah, not the really a lot of clips. The back is a little bit rough on there, but like off the top of the head here, like because of yeah, the Dawnguard helmet looks, having no pieces, like that, that looks great. Looks no fucking clipping. great. Uh, let me read a little bit of the mod description while yeah, you sure, show I'll just some look of these some off. Of the colors here. Blue one. Have you ever wanted to look cooler in full armor without having to sacrifice a piece of equipment? Certain helmets have been added that have monk hoods attached. To obtain them, go to the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood. And then, this doesn't work with most helmets, and they explain that. There's a few equipment slots for headgear, but two main oh. ones, which is head and hair, and that's why certain ones get rid of other things, and yeah. that's why you're going to experience some clipping. Obviously, we understand that. the Bethesda didn't want these... Todd Howard specifically oh. didn't want you to be able to have a helmet with a hood. Yeah, Todd, Todd said he specifically... He was actually dumped by a girl who used to wear helmets and hoods, so he didn't want to have hmm. any, any sign of it again. This, yeah, but, I, I mean, that's a bit rough, though. I, kind of, I don't know. It kind of looks like like if the helmet color was blended to be the same color. Like if you is there? Did you pick up a black version of this ebony helmet with black cape? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. damn it! It doesn't mm. quite match. But if no. it did, you'd look like fucking Batman. Yeah, kind of. Because you got the little ears coming out here. The Dawn Guard one is definitely seems like a better candidate just because of how it it doesn't have any of like things coming off of it. So uh, Moreg Tong. I don't like this helmet to begin with, but let's see how it looks. Okay, much fucking cooler with the cape. Yeah. Okay, Tori, try on a different the... armor because we're, we're also wearing big armor. Hey, no, that's now not... that's Now that's fucking sick. Still don't love that, that helmet, though. Let's try it. <laughs> Speaking of helmets I don't like, let's try this shell bug helmet. With oh, the, God, that's it, got is, the green it is just cape. an ugly motherfucker. That's, a, that's not good. I mean, it's not the hood looks fine. Uh, it's just a bad helmet, Todd. Why'd you put that in your game? Yeah, it is just really... Uh, there's it's a little Todd's bit of on the back. Yeah, that's... Hey, so I think the Dawn Guard one is by far the best one here. And there's... Obviously, we're not showing off all of them right now, so you can, okay. you can play around. And, oh, and that's actually kind of... Yeah, you know that's what? That's actually kind of sick. Little bit of issue on the back, but if you're, if you're just looking at the front here, like, that is kind of a cool... Uh, Tori, solitude. all I care about is the back, because I don't give two shits about the front. I'm all, I'm all about the back. You're all about that behind. That's exactly yeah. how everyone describes mm, you. They're like, girl, Tyler, let me that see boy your loves spine. him some back. I he love... Spine. He's... Tyler, the one with the spine kink, loves it. God yeah, that's not, Wait, that's not one... terrible. No, no, it's not. I I mean, easily, easily overlooked. The Dawn Guard one is by far my favorite, but that's some good work, and I love how uh, this mod creator is always trying to push the limits as far as they can to give us some unique uh, costuming and creations to put on our characters in the game. So good on you. No, to put on Jan. They make these specifically they, for Jan. They do make them for Jan. They knew that Jan wanted to have a helmet, but Arl, also a hood. Arl, could you confirm in the comments that you do make mods specifically for Jan and no one else? Thank you. How about uh, we we get we get Buckwild with mod number two. Tori, there's just so much natural beauty in Skyrim. There really is. It, and it, if you want it to feel a little bit more untamed, a little bit more natural, why don't you check out mod number two, which is called Call of the Wild. Yeah, Almost so, sounds like Breath of the Wild, game of the year 2017. 
Yeah, it does sound just like that. So we are here right now. Let me just pull up the map here. We are at Froki's Shack, which is located down in down in this region, the southern area. You said that gonna... real good, T. Yeah, I lost uh, all navigational time. words there, so let's just hop in. We got this very grumpy man, wow, and uh, we're going to go in here, and we're going to steal yeah, from his small chest. And inside, Why don't you have we'll a bigger chest? Call Idiot. the wild. Oh, all right. Uh, zo zoom in on that. You call upon the creatures of the wild to attack an enemy for 360 seconds. Caster is invisible for 360 seconds, and activating on an object or attacking will break the spell. At level 50, you summon all seven guardian spirits. And hey, Tyler, I don't suppose are we level 50? 50? Yeah. Fuck yes. So uh, I think we got to go try this bad boy. Let's, yeah. Okay. We're going to sneak up. Oh, well, I was going to say let's oh, sneak oh, up. But. Okay. Uh, I'm sneaking. Here I go, sneaking yep. up it. Ah, shoot. Shoot. Ah, ah, gosh darn. Ah, look, they don't see you, actually. Wow, they actually, wow, actually, they actually, actually don't see me. impressive. Okay, well, Jan is a master uh, master stealthsman, so let's get some animals up in here. And the guardian. Good. Oh. Whoa. Okay, okay. What's, uh, are there guardians coming to help me? Go, um, Does she know where person. I am? Are you invisible? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I am invisible. I forgot about that. Cast, cast it again. Yep. Let's go around two on this one. God, you look cool. Oh, there we go. There we Fuck go. Fuck yes. Hell yeah. All right, let's go. Bring Come him on. in. Come Bring on, boys. In. God, you look like a spriggan. That's fucking sick. I know. It's super rad. Yes, yes, yes. Big wolf. Fight for me. Come on. Big spectral wolf. That troll is just kind of not doing. Oh, oh my there God. he goes, throwing hands, throwing hands. I like that. Okay, he's at least throwing hands, but and I the love that I look like a spriggan. That's fucking rad. That's just a wolf and a troll. I thought there was supposed to be seven spirits. Um, is your how's your magic level look? Just kind of in general. No, you're there. Nope, I'm there. But regardless of if these creatures kind of suck ass or not, like they might need a little bit of a buff. For sure. Yeah. But the other thing is, though, is that this makes like having that um, that kind of like beast call or whatever the hell it, it is, not beast form or something, but whatever it's called normally, because I know there is a shout for it. Yep. It makes it way cooler. This is that, but way more dope. Yeah. All right. Come on. Get him. It feels so, like there's okay. like guardian spirits. There but it's. Are, it, there are more than just more more than just the seven guardian spirits. Like when you get to the highest rank, like what are the other things you can get if you're lower in magic? So level one to three is tiny mud crabs. Four to six is skeevers. Seven to nine is medium mud crabs. Ten to twelve is large mud crabs. Twelve, thirteen to twenty is wolves. Twenty-one to twenty-five is bears. Twenty-six to thirty saber cats. Thirty-one to thirty-five trolls. Thirty-six to forty-nine mammoths. And level 50 plus is all guardian spirits. Huh. I wonder if there's something going on now where I just, uh, maybe I'm. Maybe you are. Just having a glitch of some sort. Connected like to the wilderness, kind of as like, um. Uh, yeah, I just haven't gotten in touch with my, my nature side. I, but think I think what you need to do is, is probably, um. Probably get a tree tattoo. I'll, I will get working on that. I think this is pretty cool, though. I love the Spriggan look. I love the, all the effects and stuff that go along with it. And yeah, I love that you can just Tori, call... go first person. Yeah. Because you still get that, like, leaf effect around you, and it yeah. looks so good. It looks super cool. Yeah. I like this, and, I mean, maybe a few tweaks, or maybe we're having an issue or something like that, but this is a really cool way if you're, uh, you know, some, some type of natural mage or something like that, or uh, you're just... Man, you just really feel nature. You you love you the know, vibes like, nature gives off. Yeah, like you go to like, you know, electric forest and like mm -hmm. you drop shrooms oh, yeah. like your first time there. And ever since you've kind of like just had this like strange connection to like just life in general and like the yeah. wilderness and everything yeah. around you. Like it's just like such a spiritual vibe that you give off. Right. What about we get connected to different places in nature even more with mod number three. Tori, as you come down the road to a site we all know and love, it's going to look a little bit different. The ritual right. stones are guardian now stones. updated. Or guardian stones. Shut up. I know You're not game. a real gamer. You're not a real gamer, Tyler. That's because mod number three is called Place of Power. 
by yes. ARA94. And this is a work in progress mod, so yep. you're going to need to search the work in progress section. Absolutely will. And don't be like me and be a big stupid idiot, and when Tori tells you what mod he's checking out, you look for it for about 20 minutes and don't find it and realize he did say work in progress and you forgot to check the box. Right. So this takes different uh, different ritual stones that are around uh, around Skyrim here. I think it's about five of them. And it just adds a little bit more uh, environmental storytelling to them. So like you can see here, there was a pillar that was built up and there's a couple more fallen back here. So maybe that there was like a roof or like some type of structure making these seem a little bit more powerful, a little bit more spiritual. Yeah, this was intended to be like a place of worship. That's right. why they are here. So what this mod creator details is that like, have you ever wanted this place to be more interesting or more thought out or more kind of like lore friendly? So right. this is meant to be a lore friendly look at maybe the ritual stones in a in a greater form. Like they're right. a bit deteriorated still, but just a more grand appeal to them. I love the little details around here. Like so there's a there's obviously like a fire that's gone out and a little sleeping roll. And someone had set up a prayer station over here with some offerings and some food and stuff. What a shit Think offering. I know. Fucking carrots. Oh, and so he just chronicles his days. Day three, he did get fleas. So I don't know if he died or... I don't think he died. I think he maybe just didn't bring his shit with him. He just left it here. No, the fleas killed his, him. Uh, the, fleas, the fleas did kill him. But Tyler, the Guardian Stones are not the only not the only ones to be added to here. So uh, why don't you pick one that's been changed mm. and we'll hop over and take a look. Let's check out the Lord Stone. Oh, okay. wow. So Holy we're at the Lord shit. Stone this now. and we got, amazing. It does, especially with the saturation right now. Like that, That is like a very prestigious look, but I, I am going to take care of these boys real quick here. Wait, hold on. Come back here. Yeah, Get let's em. use handy you, dandy mod number two. Yeah, where? There we go. Get them. Get them. And that'll give me enough time here to, uh, well, Shrek sword. And totally Damn. not OP. Yeah. Uh, that is dab, 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 dab. love it perfect yeah, okay wow. so great i'm glad you sped that up beautiful look at the uh the lord stone here we got what some some just some offerings and like if you just look give it give me that wide shot again tori because sure. my goodness just a beautiful phallic sight it is it is phallic but yeah i love having these like little um almost like broken pillars like it, it looked like it was arched over maybe and then that has since collapsed but it gives it a much more prestigious feel and instead of just being like oh, someone left this carved rock out here it, it has a little bit more hey, uh someone carved out a penis shaped rock <laughs> hey look at that i bet it was those damn kids those fucking youths those Hate fucking them. kids always going about with their pranks carving rocks like offering. penises god they just love their penis rocks they can't get enough of it I'm trying to see if there's any uh, notes yeah, or anything like around here. Yeah, there's like a full encampment, it's... and it's just such a great view. Yeah, that I mean, is, that is lovely. Uh, now, there are five stones in total that are changed. We should probably look at one more, but those let's five at, stones are... Let's look are... at one more, but definitely you're going to want to get this and have them be... Because then when you stumble upon them in your game, it's just going to feel that much cooler. Oh, yeah. and you're going to notice the be... significance. This would be so good on a new game file because, like, they're they're going to stand out more, so you'll see them from, you know, like, across the way. You might find them in the forest somewhere, and it's like, oh, wow, this feels important that I'm walking up to it. Um, the five stones are going to be the Guardian Stones, Ritual Stone, Lord Stone, Lady Stone, and the Shadow Stone. I want Shadow Stone. Yeah, we got to check out the Shadow Stone. Okay, we're here at the Shadow Stone. Where there's a, I don't think he's nice. So I'm gonna sneak up on him. I think he's a good boy. Not much he, really changed at the Shadow Stone. No, some extra pillars. Let me just take care of yeah, that. Yeah, just some like extra pillars. Head. And like, if you look to the side, there's different like collapsed things now. Right. So yeah, it, it has a little bit more enclosure. I, and then we got um, dif different salts and uh, oh, alchemy. Wait, I'm wait. sorry, Tori. That says read help. I would uh, like to read help. Okay. I don't know how much time I have, but please help me. I wanted it so badly. I made tests, ceremonies, performed magic, anything to gain the stone's powers. But I wasn't careful. As my body started showing signs of it working, I went deeper, used every drop of blood in magicka I could muster. 
I realized my mistake too late. And now, not only completely invisible, but soon completely incorporeal, I cannot eat. Food falls out through my chest. Breathing is difficult, and I cannot speak. Soon I will become nothing but a phantom, a ghost of these lands. Where will I go? Where will I die? I beg you, finder of this note. Help me! Hey, that's super unsettling. What the yeah, hell can this thing do? What, I, here we, we're, we're making all these jokes about how it looks like a little kid carved a big penis rock, but it turns out it can make a man a phantom? Is this him? I prefer, uh, instead of phantom, uh, specter. You, well, that does have the that does have the bad 007 connotation because that was a bad it movie. It does. I, it was a here's very thing. bad movie. Maybe it wasn't that he was becoming a phantom so much as he was going ghost in in like <laughs> Danny Phantom. Like Danny Phantom. Yeah. Or, or maybe maybe it's more like this. If if we're speaking of good uh, children's TV shows, maybe mm -hmm. let's think of it this way. Yeah. Maybe uh, all of the the chemicals and shit he was mixing in his blood made him have a a Jimmy Neutron brain blast and mm -hmm. really he was just absolutely fucked like he was high as hell yeah that seems pretty likely that hey, he had himself he a brain feel the connection he got he had himself a brain blast and other things were blasting off too but I love the little environmental detailing it makes it so much cooler to stumble upon these if it's somewhere that uh as someone of faith or of of Magic would want to travel here and and build a small camp because they're either studying or praying or like you know it's a pilgrimage. It's it's makes these so much cooler because they they are a bit lackluster go, in the base go game. Go down the hill. Go down the hill. I wonder if there's anything that's kind of like fallen down there. Nope, so not I much added a... here, but there, like I said, there are the five standing stones that were updated, and it's a work in progress mod as well. So. Right. Hopefully more coming soon. I would love to see all of them updated with like some grand. I'd like one to be intact completely. That'd be really cool. That would be super cool. Maybe one that's like off on like an island or something. But Tyler, I think it's time to bounce into mod number four. The final mod of the day. Tori, behind us right now is the single greatest player home that we've ever shown off. I, it's, I agree. It's 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 rich in lore, in backstory, um, in it's detail. Got everything you need: the detail, the coloring, the, the, just the amount of thought that went into it. Is it's it's one of those special things where you're like, you know, this is every once in you know twenty thirty episodes because it's hard to find something like this. Right. So and it, this I mean, is actually a suggested mod as well. Yes. Do you have anything to say about it, Tori? What does this mod make you feel? It just makes me feel so excited. Can I please look at it? Not yet. This is a suggested mod from Arl Cool J and Machiavelli the Don. Thank you so much. Recommended mods. As always, please re leave your recommendations in the comments. Tori, are you ready to show off? Uh, please, 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 please. Mod I'm number four. Yes. Uh, okay. Three, I two, one. Oh, Boom. look at that. Castle of the Dragonborn. Yes, yes, and yes, yes. They Wait, oh, okay. I got to take my shoes off. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. They say in this mod, feast your eyes on this new castle fit for a dragonborn. Unfortunately, there are no smithing alchemy or enchanting tables and no beds or sofa, but there is one big heap of fun waiting for you. Hell yeah, there is. Look at this. I haven't, Tyler, I haven't been this gleeful since I was a but a boy. Jan has never been this gleeful. Dude, this is... I wish you were here with me so you could double bounce me. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be super fucking rad. Oh, man. Maybe we could do this. I hope this is going to be in, like, play Skyrim together. What's that Skyrim co-op that just came out? Yes, I think it's called Skyrim together. Yeah, Skyrim Fuck. together. It Tyler. actually works. We're at a fucking, this we're actually a fucking works. bouncy house in Skyrim. What the fuck is this? What does this come to? <laughs> It's honestly, it's one of those, it's one of these mods that's just so busted brain that it's uh -huh. so fucking good. It's also, amazing. there's a fucking ball pit. There's a fucking ball pit, but I'm a, I'm a bit scared because, uh, so here's the thing. There's a lot of physics going on in that ball pit and it's gonna brick the game for a little bit. So I'm going to dive in there, but just be prepared. Okay. 
Yep. Oh. Yep. 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 I don't know yep. if. I don't know if they all should have been individual assets. I don't. Oh my uh, god, they left little shoes by the bouncy house. Hold on. Let uh, uh doo doo. Okay, we are back to normal frame rate. Thank Look goodness. At, there's there's just little there's... bootsies left there. Like oh, lots of people came in, but no one came out. It, oh god. Oh god. Yeah, that's true. There's you a lot do of have shoes to be no dragonborn people. to to handle this amount of fun. Yeah, it, they did. They did get sucked into. Uh, they did get sucked in between the little the little tubies here, and, and they they did die. So that's that's unfortunate. But hey, that's the game. It, yeah, you know, a lot of you know we don't talk about this nearly enough, but bouncy houses kill thirty thousand children every year. They just consume them, and suffocate them, and they eat do. them. I wonder if they, so. Clearly, they took like Dragon Bridge and stuff like that. But this is like what if. What a goofy, fun way to just be like, ah, you know what? I want a bouncy house, and I got the assets, baby. I'm just gonna color them to, like, they even have the creases and stuff. But like, they just, I'm gonna put, throw some bright colors and have a fun ass bouncy house. That's great. It's such a good idea. It's it's just one of those things that's like, why, why, why did you think of this? But I'm so glad you did. And I'm so glad that they were suggested. Uh, of course, if you want to send mod recommendations to me directly, you can do so on Twitter. I will be at Lurking Lion. I will be at Subtly Cool, or you can send them to at Shapeless Media on Twitter. The other thing you can do is leave a comment with your mod suggestions. Leave yep. a comment really great. about anything. If you want to tell us about uh, maybe you used to have a sibling that was eaten by a bouncy house. That would be something, uh, you can that's the information that I want, because I'm, I'm making a documentary about how bouncy houses do kill people. So please, uh, yeah, I'd love big, to interview you. Yeah, uh, big bouncy, the industry as a big whole bounce, is... Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just tearing American families apart, and we need to put an end to that. So, so please tell us your story in the comment section, and uh, just check out uh, check out our fun. comedy podcast, Baseless Claims, that goes up every other Friday. One just went up last Friday, so go ahead check that one out. That'll be check fun. that one out. You're gonna you're gonna love that one. We just bully Tay for about we, fifty we minutes. We do bully. We do bully Tay, uh, and so it's a good check time. That. Check out our, our Call of Duty uh, Warzone gameplay. If there's other kind of videos that you want to see from us, just let us know in the comment section below. And yeah, we're trying we, to keep you sated during this time, so we're all in this together. Well, no, I live in a I live in a castle, so I'm not in that's, this. That's true. I'm gonna go live in this ball pit, so we should probably uh, dip out right now. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, fucking oh, Christ. Fuck. Can I get some touch of men, please?